Hello and welcome. This is an extra edition of the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. Well, as I was reading up on this, I found out that our stimulus package is still in limbo, and I will give you details why. Because it says President Donald Trump spent his Christmas golfing in Florida as a governor shut down a government shutdown looms and COVID relief hangs in the balance. Well, as we know, that is very true. Trump at his Mar-a-Lago Mar -Lago Club in Palm Beach for the holidays <clears throat> had no event on his public schedule after throwing a fu future of a massive code relief and government funding bill into question. Failure to sign the bill, which arrived in Florida on Thursday night, could deny relief checks to millions of Americans on the brink of a force of a government shutdown in the midst of this, this massive pandemic. The White House declined to share details of the president's schedule, though he played golf, he played golf Friday with Southern Carol Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, a close ally of his. A White House spokesman, Judge Deere, said Trump was briefed on the explosion of the downtown Nash in Nashville, basically, early Friday that authorities appeared to be internet. They're saying it's an international thing that happened to Nashville on Friday. But the president said nothing publicly about it. And in fact, hours and hours, basically. But Trump tweeted that he had planned to make a short speech to the service members of all of our all over the world basically let's see here by video conference friday to celebrate the holiday but declared fake news not invited well wouldn't that be every news outlet out there i mean considered to be fake news because there were some i mean i'm not sure about fox news i have noticed that they actually do like to trump up i'm not and i'm not gonna give them credit but they do like to trump up shit because um i've noticed that they've actually they, I think it was was it last year they pulled they showed how they pulled over this one guy that was supposed to be able to have like like three million dollars worth of marijuana in his car and they pulled out like two pounds. That is some expensive shit. Then, I mean, come on, three million dollars for two pounds of weed? Holy crap! So, and that was on that was on Fox News, and I happen to know that unless that dude laced it with something like a lot of something. There's no way it's gonna be worth two pounds is gonna be worth three million dollars. So I do I do give him credit for the, the um, Fox News not giving accurate information, but it's still not fake news. It's just not accurate news. Without giving details, the White House said only that Trump would work tirelessly during the holidays and has many meetings and calls. Trump's vacation came. As Washington, or Washington was still receiving, sorry, reeling over the surprise. 11th hour demand that at the end of the year spending bill and congressional leaders spent months of negotiation to give most Americans $2,000 COVID relief checks, far more than $600. Members of his own party had agreed to it. Basically, it's basically his help. Most of his leaders of his party agreed to the six hundred dollar checks, and apparently so did he. But apparently, there's a lot more involved in this. Let's see. Here we got the idea was swiftly rejected by the House Republican during a rare Christmas Eve session, leaving the proposal in limbo. So basically, the whole proposal by Nancy Pelosi as well as uh, our President Donald Trump is basically in limbo at this present time. So we're not really actually looking forward to seeing anything happen probably until they come back on the 28th, which I believe is Monday. But I think I don't think that's actually for the congressional spending bill. I think that's for them to try to override Trump's veto on the defense bill, which is completely separate from government spending and the um, stimulus. The bipartisan... Uh, Compromise had been considered a done deal and had won sweeping approval in the House and in the Senate this week after the White House assured GOP leaders that Trump supported it. If he refused to sign the bill, sign the deal, which is an attached $1.43 $1 trillion government funding bill, it would force a federal shutdown 
in addition to delaying aid checks and halting unemployment benefits and eviction protections in most dire the most dire stretch of the pandemic basically so basically since trump is sitting on the bill right now we have people that are now getting really fucking stressed off and pissed off because they're about to lose unemployment they're about to be evicted and most of them are waiting to get a stimulus check from our federal government that is holding our money and yet Donald Trump's holding it up because he wants to give us more money. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. I actually do support the idea of giving us a $2,000 stimulus check over $600. But to basically keep the people waiting, I mean, he could say, all right, well, I'll give you $600 now. And then I will get Congress started on sending you guys out an additional $1,400 after the holidays. $600 to help out right now. But if he could send another $1,400, say, after Christmas and before New Year's, then that helped out a lot. But... We're talking with Donald Trump here, and there's a lot of stuff we don't understand about our president just quite yet. Like, what is his ties with the Proud Boys, the political violence group that is out there that's basically trying to riot and cause violence? What is his ties with Russia? Why did he get $3.4 million from Russia? And he's also probably married to Putin's daughter. But that's just supposition. Okay. Made many, uh, the long series of the pandemic, made many calls and had meetings of Trump's International and Palm Beach, Florida. Why would politicians not want to give people $2,000 rather than $600? He tweeted. After leaving the golf course Friday afternoon, it was their fault. It was China. That's right. You heard me. He, he he blames this virus on China. Excuse me. Uh, we have our own um, version of viruses out here too that China could blame on us. So why does he? I mean, he's blaming this on China. That I hate to say it, that is sort of a very racist thing to do. I mean, it an American brought it back to the United States and spread it. And currently, um, there is not a single spot on the globe that has not been touched by COVID-19. But yet, do you see here them out there reaching, oh, yeah, it was China's fault. It was China's fault. It was China's fault. I mean, come on, really? I mean, so the virus came from China, but it wasn't their fault unless they were genetically engineering it. See, that's the whole thing. I mean, why blame something on them unless they genetically engineered it? And they're trying to, and they're trying to say that it was because of uh, bat droppings that apparently got into pigs and mutated and turned into a human killer basically so donald trump needs to stop blaming on china and worry about helping the people out just like the congress does <clears throat> graham tweeted on friday on friday night that trump was still intent on getting changes in year-end legislation before signing it he's talking about the foreign aid money that is part of the government spending bill, but is not part of the stimulus package. See, uh, he, I think in one of his things, I think I, I played a few, a few days ago, he blamed like, Cambodia and, and what was it, what was it Egypt and all this stuff, all the places getting all these millions of dollars. And he's trying to say that's part of the stimulus package when it's not. That's part of the government spending bill, which is completely separate than the stimulus package. But I do got a good point. He, well, he does actually. I mean, think about it here. If he, if they raised the um, stimulus package up and took out all the unnecessary crap that's in there, because I'm sure there's some stuff in this crap, and they raised it up to $1.4 trillion just at the government spending bill, everyone would be able to get a $2,000 stimulus check. I mean, but I don't think Trump's doing the math that way, so we'll find out what happens. After spending some time with President Donald Trump, um, I'm convinced he is more determined than ever to increase the stimulus payments to $2,000 per person and change the sections, the section 230, which is a big tech liability protection. He said in his tweet, both are responsible demands, and I hope Congress is listening. The biggest winner would be the American people. In addition to the COVID-19, the COVID aid, Graham was <clears throat> referring to another Trump priority to get a repeal of section, which is the, the 230 of the 1996 Congressional uh, Act, a law that protects online platforms from liability for content, content posted by users. 
Trump's decision to attack the COVID bill has been seen as it is at least in the part as political punishment for what the, he considers insufficient backing by his congressional Republicans of his campaign to overturn the results of the November 3rd elections with unfounded claims of voter fraud. And if you, if you guys paid attention to some of the stuff I actually did in one of the videos, I actually showed a picture of a Pennsylvania man that <clears throat> voted for his dead mother in Trump's name. So if we're talking about voter fraud here, that means Trump would have voter fraud against himself, which would not be good. But um, let's see here. Let's get past a big old part of this here. Um, okay. At a meeting in Florida Tuesday, everyone was asking why aren't the Republicans up in arms and fighting over the fact that the Democrats stole the rigged presidential election Trump tweeted Thursday. I will never forget, he later added, <clears throat> Trump for the, the weeks now has refused to accept the results of elections and has been pushing new, increasingly outrageous schemes to try to overturn the results. He has been egged on by allies like his lawyer, for, former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani, who accompanied him, the president, to the Florida <clears throat> Air Base, Air, abroad the Air Force One. So basically he went with to Florida with Trump on Air Force One. Ooh, there's a big waste of money right there, right? Trump has provided no credible evidence to support his election claims which has been refuted by a long list of officials, among them judges, former Attorney General William Barr, Republican governors, and local electoral administrators. Meanwhile, the nation continues to reel as the current coronavirus spreads with record infections and hospitalizations, more than 327,000 now dead, and millions are going, now going through the holidays alone or struggling to make ends meet without adequate income. Food or shelter thanks to pandemic economic tolls. So basically the food and shelter is also taking a hit. The Justice Department said Acting Attorney General, Acting Attorney General Jeff Rosen also was briefed on the Nashville blast and directed all the department's resources to be made available to help. The FBI will be Taking the lead in investigation agency spokesman Joel Sissons, I can't say his last name, said, Here's what I gotta say about that. Okay. We why how would we have an international event? I mean, think about it, an explosion in Nashville. How would that happen internationally when the only airfare that's available to get in the only way to get into the United States that's that's gonna be illegal is through boat, and even then the National Guard's gonna see that and stop you. So the only way that we're going to have an international event in Nashville is if it was made to look that way by tr the, the Trump's allies, you know, the, um, the other GOP Republicans, as well as the Proud Boys, because they are known for basically political violence. And if you actually look the Proud Boys up on Google, you'll find out exactly what I mean. Because it, it defines them as political violence. So I think it was actually a national thing, and it has to do with Trump's allies because they're trying to to get martial law declared so he can try to overthrow the elections. But that's just what I think. Mm -hmm. Three people were treated in the hospital after the um, rec rec the vehicle was blown up, blaring a record warning of an... Wow. A record warning of the detonation exploded in Nashville's downtown. The blast caused widespread communications out outages and took down police emergency systems and grounded flights at the city's airport. So basically, like I said, I mean, if it was an international event, how would Trump, or should I say, how would it happen? I mean, you can't really fly people in and out of the United States unless you're part of what was that? Um, what was that? Uh, that not that piece of cord, but the um. It was a climate control act that he basically decided to back out of. And Steven Mnuchin is the only other one that I've known that's actually been traveling in the United States. So unless he's bringing people back with him as part of Trump's allies, it's got to be an internal job from someone that's, you know, helping Trump out make it so he can declare martial law. But 
this is basically all that we got for you guys today. I did try to look up other information. He has not, like I said, I mean, he has not signed the um, second stimulus proposal or the government funding bill. He also wants, like I said, he, he wants all this stuff taken care of. He wants the liability protections for online platforms to be removed. I mean, come on now, really? But I'm not going to continue on past 15 minutes, past what I'm doing right now. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. And I will broadcast again to you hopefully tomorrow or Sunday at latest. Until, excuse me, until then, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.